Evening, folks. This has been rec this has been requested. I don't often go and do full shopping at Tesco's, but because we had a um, because we had a the, our fridge freezer breakdown two days ago, I didn't go to my usual Aldi. And Ella suggested, why don't we go and do a Tesco shop? So I have two things. Well, more than two actually. The first thing I've got to say is, why does it take long to get around that place? <laughs> your, your your shopping review. It was, it was just too long. I, I am used to Aldi in, out, I know where everything is. So I get that's part of the issue of me not going in there that often. Um, but the, it highlights one of the things that I, I don't like about the big stores. I'm gonna to talk to you about it in a minute. Um, so as per usual, the, the standard things that you, and there's a, most of this stuff you can get from other shops as well. Um, so lots of greens to start with. So yeah, I suppose the thing is with um, Tesco's or Morrison's or whatever, they do more selections. So like you won't find <clears throat> this type of thing in Aldi or, or Lidl's often. So a cabbage and leek pre-prepped, ready to be turned into buttered cabbage or creamy cabbage. So you know what? That's okay. You know these are, are all around about sort of three, or four grams of cow per hundred because it's just the normal product. So. You know, if you just you would just want to buy a small bag ready-made, then that, that's fine. That's them. Obviously, the usual spinach. You know, green beans. They've got yellow beans in there actually as well um, at the moment. But you know, fresh green beans. They're three grams of carbs per hundred. Did you this, say yellow beans? They do yellow ones as well. Yellow beans. Wow. Um, you know, again, you've got more choice when you go to Tesco's. This is their own brand. Then you've got the sort of like the, the standard brand. Then you've got the extra fine, all that sort of stuff. They're all three grams of carbs per hundred. Um, they don't change. So, you know, got those. Tesco's doing their own version of the, the mini, um, mini avocados. Um, not much difference in price to, to Aldi. Um, Bunches of asparagus, again, get them anywhere. We, we use a lot of asparagus in our stuff. Um, curly kale, again, pretty much get it everywhere and anywhere, but you know, that's there. So a couple of things that you can't get elsewhere, and this is where Tesco's do have a better range. Diced Swede. So we know that people, we, I would always, 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 and if I, I don't, I'll, I'll look at the receipt later. Um, but I bet that costs twice as much as this, and there's twice the volume in here. But I get it. You know, if you if you don't want to prep it yourself, then you've got ready-made dice weed to go into. You know, you could roast those um, in the the samosa mix that I made today. There you go. It's perfect. So, you know, ready-made. Don't have to skin it and don't have to to sort of chop it if you struggle with that. Same for that. The the swoodles. Um, Again, we don't tend to buy these sorts of things. Louis will have these. Um, Tesco seems to be the only place to do it, which is fine. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's an ideal replacement for somebody maybe who's starting out. Um, I don't even think about those sort of things anymore. Here's something that I, again I wouldn't tend to buy, just because I'd make my own. But I also get it. You know, this has got four bags of frozen cauliflower rice in 150 grams per bag works pre out about five six grams of carbs per bag so there you go you've got your side to the protein done you know they say steam i would fry in butter <laughs> yeah um the shallots it's funny because the, you think these are the most expensive ones actually because yeah, they call them the uh the finest, this is the finest brand, and right next to them, in the next bin, you've got the standard shallots. There's more in this bag at the same price than there is in the standard shallots, so you get more for the weight, uh, uh, more weight for the price, therefore these are cheaper. Um, and actually, they're great. So those are fantastic, they're nice biggish ones as well. Um, you will find a lot of times the shallots will be very tiny. Um, so those are ideal. Um, obviously, other veggies, um, aubergines, peppers, I've got some baby cucumbers, I'm going to pickle these, I've got two trays of them, I'm going to pickle them. Um, obviously, I like a bit of rocket with my stuff, usual things, so there's all the veggies, cab you know, cabbage, swede, obviously celeriac is one of the only places you'll get celeriac from, 
sort of a regular basis. Um, so that's all of that stuff. And say pretty much you can get that anywhere um, with the exception of the prepared Swede. Um, right, other stuff, dairy, well, yeah, normal stuff, you know, creme fraiche, soured cream. They're a bit more expensive than, than Aldi and um, uh, Lidl's. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, Greek yogurt or Greek style yogurt. This is the one that I would tend to buy from there. Um, five grams of carbs per hundred. One ingredient, milk. It's not thickened with anything. Um, however, if you, when you compare it price-wise, this is 50% more expensive than the stuff from Aldi and Lidl. 50%. Just try not to gesture Sorry. as much with the food item. <laughs> Ella's trying to get a picture of it. So, you know, it might not look much when you look at the individual price. This was one pound is it one pound? Hang on, I'm trying to get the price now. I think it's one pound fifty, something like that. Anyway, it works out works out fifty percent more expensive. I just know that from the uh, the price per hundred grams. It's fifteen pence a kilo. Fifteen pence per hundred grams. Tesco's ten pence per hundred grams from Aldi. Protein wise, protein wise, again, pretty much you get everything. Um, you you do pay a little bit more. So yeah, normal chicken. I'll be honest, I haven't bought a huge amount of protein from there. Didn't need much. Haven't got much freezer space. Um, but what I have bought definitely is slightly more expensive. It's, it, it, everything is a little bit more expensive. So chicken thighs, yes, smoked bacon, um, smoked back bacon, sorry. Um, this is just the standard, yes, it'll have nitrates in it, so this goes down as processed food. Um, so, you know, you can find the alternatives if you want them. Um, turkey mince, we use that a lot. So this is the 7% turkey mince, we'll make scotch eggs out of this. So if you're not a fan of using pork mince, then go and grab yourself some, some turkey mince. You might find the 2% stuff a little bit drying, so it's not quite got enough flavour, enough juice in it when you make a scotch egg. Um, so those are the easy proteins, and obviously a bag of prawns. I'm going to do an um, egg fried rice in a couple of days time. I want to get onto some of the interesting bits. So. Here's one of the interesting bits. It took me a little while to find this. This is clean. This, there's, no, there's no additives in this. So this is um, uh, Wiltshire cured ham. Um, so no additives in this, no sugar. Most processed, oh sorry, most sliced meats are gonna contain anything from maltodextrin as the second ingredient to dextrose, sort of three or four ingredients down. Um, they've all got something added to them. This doesn't. More expensive, four pound a pack. Um, but don't don't forget that you can freeze this though, so don't let it go off. Take little portions and freeze it down. That's great. Um, I've bought heck sausages. This is the first time I've bought heck ones, mostly because all of the Tesco's ones um, had rice flour. Um, they, none of them were above ninety percent meat. They were all sort of ninety and below. Seventy-two was the predominant number. Um, this is uh, 97 and has uh, rice flour as an ingredient, fourth one down, so it's a percent. Uh, we've never tried Heck before, so I've, I've seen a lot of people say that Heck are really good. We'll give them a go, we'll give them a go. They're more expensive, again. Um, they'd ha they, have to, they have to be good to compete with Aldi because Aldi's also 97%. Yeah, yeah 97, 97%. And they don't have any rice flour in them, and they're not half the price, but maybe a third off. Um, yes, a little bit more processed meat, so we've got some sliced chorizo, because uh, Libby likes to sort of put it in his lunches. Um, Snack-wise, people often ask, what can I get while I'm out and about? Do you know what? Those things. Um, so little pieces of cheese wrapped in ham, um, little egg pack. These are, I think, two for four quid at Tesco's uh, now. Um, and little pot of olives and uh, feta cheese. The cleanest one is obviously that, because uh, actually I suppose the ham not, is not going to have much in it. It'll probably have dextrose. It might have in. a little bit in it. This has got barely any carbs in it whatsoever. I think it's 0 0.3 per 100 grams. So those are the things I would buy. If I was out and about and I needed a little snack, it would be a packet of this. No, actually. Is it clean? I wouldn't call it clean. Because um, there's some preservatives in, right. but it depends on what you what you think about them. But there's no sugars or sweeteners. 
All right, usual things. Um, they've got their own version of Halloumi now. So this is obviously Tesco's own, sort of like their own brand, this cream field stuff. So soft cream cheese is nothing else in this. Uh, it's the same macros as Philadelphia. So your choice, it's just half the price. Um, the, uh, this halloumi is real halloumi. That's why it's called halloumi. It's not grilling cheese. Again, it's the normal macros for that. Grated mozzarella has a little bit of um, potato starch in it. So it's three grams of carbs per 100, so your choice. However, you can also get the block, um, the pizza mozzarella. Uh, you can just grate that down and you get the same thing. You so that's not the ball, is it? No, that's... it's not the ball, it's the pizza block. Oh, right, just like you get in Morrison's. Yeah, it's like the same as Morrison's selling in bigger blocks. Cool. Yeah, so just grate that down. Um, do you know what? I hadn't looked at the price, the comparison. Um, but if you're really limiting your carbs and you're really going to focus on getting starches out, there you go, buy that and grate your own. Um, we, get, we get into the bits that I really want to talk about. Um, so, yes, nuts. Again, the Tesco's are not great for this sort of selection. No big bags, it's all small things. £15 a kilo for flaked almonds, £14 a kilo for ground almonds. That's top end. You know, you can get this much cheaper from Aldi and from Lidl's. Absolutely. Um, one, one place, one thing that you, you will go to Tesco's for, this is the stuff that I normally do. I'll go for a specific couple of items. So this is the, the sweetener that they've got at the moment. Um, Candarelle, which is a erythritol stevia with a little bit of sucralose. It's the cheapest one on the market. It's the cheapest one. Just want to show the um, ingredients. So it's three pounds a bag. Because obviously not all candarelles are the same. Yeah, so not all candarelles are the same. Bag. Please look at the bag. It says stevia blend. Please look at the bag. Don't buy any other coloured bag and say that you got the candarelle stuff. This is the candarelle stuff. Okay. Um, almond, yeah, almond milk, Tesco's own branded almond milk, either fresh or long life, doesn't contain maltodextrin, so that's a safe one, okay? You can, and at the moment they've got Almond Breeze on there for uh, a pound a, a, a tub as well, and you can sometimes get the um, Alpro stuff at a pound. Um, right, okay, uh, Elle asked me to get this. Um, Actually, no, I'm, 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 I quite like the, that sweetener, Sarah. Um, it's okay. We, we don't tend to use much of it now, so we don't really get the aftertaste. This is a vanilla, vanilla extract, which is zero carbs. It's not a, it's not a sugar extract. So it's quite, a, quite expensive, but it's also very strong, so you don't use much. Um, I picked this up for Ella, which is peanut, smooth peanut butter. Uh, it's clean, nothing else added to it. Again, more expensive than the Morrison's one which is what we'd normally get. Well, as I said, it looks suspiciously like the <laughs> It Morrison's looks suspiciously one. like It's Morrison's. lighter than normal, it? and right. I've got high hopes. Standard things, and actually this surprised me, um, uh, Passata. I've got it in the cartons because it works out cheaper than the tins, and these are easier to recycle. Same, same macros as normal chopped tomatoes, four grams of carbs, the same macros, there is you know, no difference at all. If you're just starting out and you need coconut flour, this is your best option. Tesco's sell this, it's uh, 3.75 a bag, it's a half a kilo a bag, um, that will get you started. That's, that's where we started, um, Groovy, Food, uh, Groovy Market is it? Groovy, Groovy, what? Food. Groovy Food Company. Um, it's pretty decent, so you know, go, go and pick yourself up a bag of that. Um, I got some butter. I got what we'd normally get. The, 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 the Tesco's version, so standard salted butter, and then this is the sea salt uh, butter. That looks posh. It's just the diff it's, it's the same bloody stuff. In it's a just in a fancy wrapper. packaging. So, no, because the, the other stuff comes in a black wrapper. Oh, right. Aldi and, and Lidl's do it in black, and obviously they've chosen to go... It's the same shape, it's the same butter. Um, but I have picked up some Kerrygold, which is... I've had it before, and I don't think I can really taste much difference, but it's grass-fed cows. So it's apparently the cleanest butter. Your choice. Again, it's um, fifth, no, 25% uh, more expensive than standard salted butter. Right, okay, here's my gripes. Coconut milk. It's a regular gripe. This is okay. This is bordering on okay. This is one pound a tin, 65% um, coconut extract. My, and I, I couldn't bring myself to buy it, but I, I should have done. My, my gripe is that on the, the shelf round the corner is the Blue Dragon stuff. 
which is two pound a tin and 25% coconut. Really? You're paying, you're paying 75% of your money to carry a, to a tin of water home. It's horrific. So it was horrible. I mean, it's just terrible stuff. Um, so at least this stuff, have a look for this, this pride, 65%. Okay, so it's it's borderline. I mean, uh, Aldi and, and Lidl's are usually sort of 80s and 90s. The more coconut extract it is, the thicker it is, the better it tastes and all that sort of stuff. Right, here's why I think big supermarkets think we're idiots. These two are exactly the same product. They contain the same thing. These are both cocoa powder. They have the same macros, they have the same ingredient, they have the same slogans on both. One is £8 a kilo, one is £9 a kilo. They've put it in different tubs, so you think it's a different thing. It's the same item. It's, uh, I'm trying to work out which way around it is now, which is more expensive. Uh, this is more expensive. On the shelf, it's cheaper, because it's less volume, but per kilo, it's more expensive I by I suppose because they've aimed the red one more as drinking chocolate yeah. with, the, with the cup on they the They are exactly the same. Last one, and it, and it comes back to them thinking we're idiots. These are the same things. Golden linseed, whole golden linseed or flaxseed. That's what they've, they've put them on, flaxseed. This one is one pound 10 a pack and works out at four pound 40 a kilo. This one, I've forgotten um, the price of it, but worked out at 15 pounds a kilo. Hang on, so it's 10 pound more expensive? Over ten per, pounds per more expensive per kilo in a different bag. Separated by three or four aisles in a supermarket, that is horrific. Fifteen pound a kilo, four pound forty a kilo for the same thing. Just and it's no different. No different. They do the same with pumpkin. No different. You, you, this is with the. The fruit and the veg aisles, where you pick up smaller packets. Like the dried fruit section. Yeah, and then this is with all the baking stuff. So that is, that is, uh, that's, that's just horrific. Um, and I suppose the last thing is that they do do a mixed seeds if you want to make some seed crackers, um, which I've used before. That, that'll make you one whole tray of seed crackers. Oh yeah, apple cider vinegar. And then lastly the chocolate. Apple cider vinegar, it's a bit, I almost swore, it's a bit rubbish, it's a bit naff. It's, it, it will do, but it's not great. It, uh, I mean, sorry, Aspel. Um, it, it, to me, it's a cooking vinegar. It's At not, least it contains the mother. It contains the mother. It's just not very strong. It's not very good. It's an extra pound on top of what you'll pay um, for the same size bottle, an extra pound of what you'll pay at Aldi. Um, and we've I've bought this uh, just to try it out, 85% dark chocolate, because we haven't got any in the house. Um, way more expensive than Aldi. Um, we'll give you a review of that later. Um, I bet it was his lovely. <laughs> well, do you know what? It just it really riles me. That dye riles me. There's no need for that. That's just taking the pee. Yeah, that's taking the mickey. I understand. It's a smaller packet. It's a slightly better quality packet. It might be a little bit more expensive. That's not ten pound a kilo more expensive. That's just taking the mick out of us. Um, and that. They don't need to do that. This is why, if you think, the smaller stores, they don't have the space to fill. They've got to be more sort of selective about what goes on their shelves, so they only have one brand. So that the, the Aldi version sits sort of in between the two, but it's milled linseed, it's not whole linseed. So they only do one brand, they do one thing, that's their thing. Whereas Tesco's have probably got, I mean, they, well, they had other bags of, other bags of um, flax yeah. seeds, which are more expensive to match just tuna. Uh, which are just, even more expensive. Just because it's in spring water. Okay, yeah, uh, tins of tuna in spring water. I suppose the, the one nice thing that Tesco's are doing is removing the plastic. So you get the same discount for a packet of four, but buying individuals, you don't get it wrapped in that big, big wrapper. Um, sorry for the rant <laughs> about that, but it really does annoy me. Um, we're going to go because we're nine minutes late from jo opening a Zoom in the members group. Um, you done? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. See you later, folks.